Welcome to the Sky Radar video channel. This video explains how to use the sensitive time control mechanism to reduce strong reflections of small objects in the near range. The presentation is given by Dr. Ulrich Schulten from Sky Radar. Hello, let's now play around a little bit on the sensitive time control. STC. That's this button here, which you can sw switch on and off. I would do the following in order to have a real strong impact on that STC. I would amplify to the crazy highest level that we can do here, which is of course not giving any beautiful image. By the way, I'm filming here uh, our training uh, guests in uh, the classroom, which has a size of um, approximately 5 meters times um, 8 meters. So let's play on and let's have a particular look at the A scope. Let me just bring this a little bit down. So what I see here now is uh, even exaggerated through my amplification. Perhaps I make it a little bit smaller. I have very strong signals in the near range. And there, if we go further away, they get lower, meaning the signal attenuates with um, a hyperbolic behavior, which is actually R radius to the power of minus 4. Let us now see what happens if we set the sensitive time control. It has to iron, it has to flatten this curve, meaning it should impact the close range, the near range, it shouldn't have too much impact here. So let's try. I set it on now. This is now nothing else but a square root over the signals. That's why it's impacted here, not so much here. Little bit down, the amplification. I bring it up to factor three which is impacting more. Now you see guests running around in the classroom here. These are moving targets in the classroom. Um, if I bring the amplification a little bit down again, it's almost a clean signal, just the people moving around. Let's bring sensitive time constant even further. You see how much it, it's flattened now. What you see here as a static signal, apart from the uh, signal, apart from the people who are moving in the room, is the source. Let me cut off the reflection of the source itself here. And now we have a flat curve and just some targets moving in the room. Of course, I could now go there and limit threshold, but that will be part of another exercise. Thank you, Uli. We hope you have enjoyed this video. There are many more on the Sky Radar channel in YouTube and at www.skyradar.com. On our website, you also find helpful tools, free calculators, and an extensive repository of research papers and case studies all around radar technology. Art, 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 art is born.